Hey Legends, Blake here with another video and a couple weekends ago I headed down to Nature Aquarium in Mont Albert which is an absolute must see if you're ever hunting through local fish stores in the Melbourne area. Uh, it's a really really massive store, uh, some really unique and awesome offerings and yeah you just have to check it out. So the brilliant thing about Nature Aquarium I think is that the first part of it is a super inspiring area with some beautiful aquascapes so um, I'll give you a little bit of a taste test of what you get when you walk inside the door. Okay, so then once you've walked inside the door and you're nice and warmed up, I'll show you a little bit of what the footprint has to offer. And it is one of the larger footprints in terms of fish stores in Melbourne. So there's racks and racks of fish, freshwater fish and saltwater fish. Although the really exciting thing is that Nature Aquarium are actually in the process of a move at the moment. Uh, they've got a new footprint just down the road, so it's still well and truly in the area, but the new space is going to be a lot more uh, accessible, a lot better set up, and I'm really, really excited to get in there. But also, I thought it was important to document uh, sort of the last hurrah of what was an awesome store to visit. So as you can see, huge range of plants, hardscape, and everything you're gonna to need to set up a really, really beautiful aquascape. Uh, heaps and heaps of variety of rocks and driftwood, and yes, yeah, some rarer plants as well, Busa philandra, stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, you can really, really set up a, a top tier aquascape using everything at this store. As well as that, it is enough to make the wallet give a little cry, but they do have a huge pile of ADA tanks as well, which is really hard to find in Melbourne at least. So um, if you want to take your aquascape to the next level, Nature Aquarium is the place to do it, and ADA is definitely the tank to house it in. I've uh, been tempted a couple of times, but uh, maybe, maybe in the future. So outside of that, the other cool thing that I really like at Nature Aquarium specifically is the range of Aquavivo lights. I've featured them on the channel before and they're a really nice price point for the output that they give. Uh, even on the bench behind me, a lot of the lights there are Aquavivo lights as well. So um, yeah, I definitely recommend checking them out even just for those alone. So as I mentioned, there is a saltwater offering and a freshwater offering. I'm presuming because of the move, the saltwater does seem to be peeled back a little bit, but um, typically it's about a 60-40 split. Regardless of that, there's still some really beautiful corals, whether that's LPS or SPS. There's some really high quality fish as well, nice healthy fish like pajama cardinals, different tangs, angelfish, hawkfish, and that sort of thing. So uh, even though I'm definitely well and truly a freshwater person, I still have to check it out and I was impressed with what I saw. Before we progress too far in, I do also want to mention that Nature Aquarium, I'm aware that people are looking from all over Australia and outside of Australia, but at least within Australia, uh, Nature Aquarium have an online store as well, so you can purchase dry goods, even some livestock, so long as it's legal in your state, um, and you can ch jump online and take a look if you're not able to get to Melbourne to check them out. So I think that's really great uh, for you viewers out there. But as we move into the freshwater fish selection, it is quite a selection. Uh, we start off with some more outdoor friendly options like Medaka rice fish, white clouds, goldfish, yabbies and things like that, or uh, for American friends, they would be crawfish. We've got some community options, heaps of cichlids actually, angelfish, bristlenose catfish, these are some praycox rainbow fish or dwarf neon rainbow fish. Uh, but yeah, anything you can really think of, blue acara, gold gouramis, blue gouramis, and the list goes on. The other thing that I really commend Nature Aquarium for is they always seem to have something or other that you've never seen before or that they didn't have in last time. Like for example, this spotted leporinus. You're just always surprised every time you go in there, whether I think the last time I went in there, they had some uh, half beaks, which I was surprised about. 
This time around, they had some long-nosed pipefish, which we'll see in just a moment. But no matter what it is, it doesn't matter how, how often or how many times you go visit, there will always be something that will catch your eye. So they also have uh, heaps of different Corydoras, other catfish, uh, Pictus cats as well when I was in there. This time around, they had a few Epistogrammas as well, like this really nice uh, Panduro, which he was looking really nice and healthy. as uh, Crebensis, uh, in with some Roseland Sharks or Denison Bubs, an absolute army of Cherry Shrimp. Those different colors as well. And here are the uh, Pipefish, which I did end up taking home. Uh, so I absolutely love them and they're so quirky and so cool. Um, so yeah, I was thrilled with that. Some juvenile Trophius. There are quite a few of African cichlids as well. I think for later on in this, we'll see some uh, Yellowtail ACI. Here it is. Uh, there's peacocks and all sorts of stuff as well as Umbuna and yeah, a, a huge variety of Tanganyikans, Malawians, and even sometimes some Victorians, Egyptian mouth breeders and stuff like that. So we finish up on some platies and guppies and that concludes the tour. So there you go, hopefully you enjoyed that video. As I mentioned, Nature Aquarium is a real one-stop shop. They pack heaps of stuff into a massive footprint. So there's really something for everyone. No matter what you're into, whether it's saltwater or freshwater, community tanks, planted tanks, or high-end aquascape, uh, they'll have everything you'll need to get started. The staff, again, were really, really friendly. It's always a good time going in there, even just to chat to them. I'm really excited about the new footprint, but I do definitely recommend heading into the old footprint if you can before the move. You might even be able to convince them to uh, snatch up a few bargains for you uh, so that they don't have to move it down there. Because I know if it was me, I wouldn't want to be shifting everything across there. So you could probably twist their arm a little bit and see, see how you go. So um, thanks again to Nature Aquarium for letting me film a tour there. It's always fun to go and visit. Um, check them out either online or in store. And if you did like the video, it always helps me out to smash like, hit subscribe and all that fun stuff. Other than that, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.